Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop, brought to you by Hospitality.com and Hospitality.ca. Best jobs, best candidates and latest hospitality news. HospitalityPlus.com Dedicated hospitality networking. Hospitality Plus events. Exclusive hospitality networking events. Hospitality consulting. Global hospitality executive search. Radio partner 106.2 Hum FM. Magazine partner. Hospitality business Middle East and the pro chef. Wardrobe partner. Ara Fashion. Production partner. 12th Real Media Productions Dubai. Hospitality Buzz, the inside scoop where you will get to enjoy the finest in the hospitality industry right from your homes. On this show, not only will you explore the finest hotel properties from which you can choose one for your next vacation, but you will also hear from the industry leaders and you can learn from the experts for yourself. The tourism industry is witnessing a surge when comparing the first half of 2012 with the first half of 2013, the tourism industry showed a growth of 550,000 visitors. Now 2014 is going to be very motivating. Today we are at the iconic Atlantis Hotel at the Palm Jumeirah in Dubai. We would love to hear from you. Please send us your feedback via email. Email at hospitalitybuzz.com and that's hospitality with a Z. Join our Facebook group Hospitality Buzz. First up on the show, we have the latest happenings from the hospitality industry. Let's take a look. Spring summer collections for 2014 have just been revealed, at least for one fashion brand, Gossini. The best and stylish collection for men, women and kids is a haven of trends that range from florals, pastels to happy lights denims and color chinos with a hint of nautical and dash of neons. The collection is suited for a wide audience. The Dubai International Boat Show has confirmed 30 large luxury boats exceeding 21 meters to be showcased. This year, an impressive 19 super yachts, including the largest boat in the history of the show, will be on display among the more than 430 boats on land and water. This will be the 22nd Dubai International Boat Show. When comparing the first half of 2012 with the first half of 2013, as per hospitality business Middle East, the guest nights have increased by over 2 million. Guests are looking for comfort. Wonderful food, splendid location, wonderful sightseeing places when choosing a destination. Let's have a look at what makes this property special. Hospitality Limelight, brought to you by Excite Tourism. Visit goexcitetourism.com. I mean, the vision of Atlantis um, was originated, of course, from the chairman, Sol Kersner's vision to build this incredible uh, resort. Um, on the Palm, Dubai. The resort now sits at the top of the, uh, of the crescent of the Palm. We actually then opened the resort in September 2008. Atlantis is such a unique property due to various factors. Um, the water experiences that the guests have, the award-winning cuisines that we have at the resort too. Even the tailored events that we, can, uh, that we can have at the resort were even very, very experienced in, in destination weddings. If we look at the water experiences, of course, we have, uh, we have Aquaventure at the resort, which is an incredible 17 hectare uh, water park. The water park has expanded over the last five years. Um, in September 2013, we actually added five new slides to the water park. We have um, two swimming pools at the resort and also um, we also have the 1539 rooms of course. One of the key attractions really is the Ambassador Lagoon. It's this incredible lagoon that has um, up to 65,000 marine animals in the, in the lagoon itself. It's where the myth of Atlantis really comes together with the marine animals. In addition to that, of course, we have the Lost Chambers. The Lost Chambers, I think it's best described as 
It's a mixture between an aquarium and also this underwater labyrinth of walkways and passageways. If they are really interested to understand really how we look after the fish as well, we actually do back of house tours where we can take our guests um, to the back of the house and show them our fish hospital. We even have an area where our chefs prepare fish food to, uh, you know, to feed the fish. In addition to that, we have Dolphin Bay. Dolphin Bay is, um, is an area where we have a family of dolphins that, um, that guests can actually experience. Our newest addition is uh, Sea Lion Point. Our other main attractions include our suites. We have signature suites at the hotel. Uh, we have the Royal Bridge Suite, which is the largest suite in the Middle East with 924 square meters. It's a two bedroom suite that um, straddles the two um, towers, the East and the West Tower. And it comes with two butlers, as well as chefs, and its own kitchen area. As I mentioned, you have the two bedrooms, dining area for up to 16 guests. We also have two underwater suites. Uh, we have the, the Poseidon and the Neptune suite. And they are actually suites that look into the Ambassador Lagoon. We're very proud at Atlantis to have over 21 restaurants, bars and lounges. Um, some of the restaurants that we have uh, range from Nobu, which is one of the award-winning um, Japanese um, slash Peruvian type of restaurants. Nobu Matsuhisa brings us this incredible cuisine. Um, we also have uh, our newest cuisine, which is our Chinese restaurant, Yuan. Yuan is very much a con contemporary styled restaurant, but with a traditional twist as well. Some of the other restaurants that we have include Kaleidoscope. On a Monday night, for example, has our Indian heat night. So the whole restaurant is themed in Indian tradition. We have Oceano, which is our 86-seated restaurant that looks into the Ambassador Lagoon. If our guests are looking for a more traditional style, we also have um, Levantine, which is our arabesque cuisine. Our guests can expect an incredible personalised service. We do have 1,539 bedrooms indeed, however we offer a meticulous personalised service to each and every one of our guests. We look at um, enriching our guests' lives, giving our guests varied experiences across Atlantis the Palm. And of course we look at um, giving our guests everlasting memories that they can cherish and absolutely giving them an incredible experience, one of the best experiences they will have in their lives that they will never forget. Hospitality Limelight, brought to you by Excite Tourism. Visit goexcitetourism.com. Having seen such an amazing hotel property in the UAE, it's now time for a very useful tip from a hospitality expert. Do give it a try and let us know what you think about it. And if there is something specific that you want to learn about, let us know and we will try to include it in the show. Here is the hospitality tip. Namaste. Welcome to Taj Spa. My name is Ashna Dhanak and I'm the spa manager at the Taj Palace Hotel Dubai. So we're going to show you a homemade cleanser today. This will be for all the skin types. It's a fresh papaya pulp. We have honey which is considered to be almost the best moisturizer on earth and we have curd. The enzymes present inside the curd will help to brighten up your complexion. I'm going to take two small teaspoons of aloe vera gel and we have one teaspoon of freshly pulped papaya, a little bit of half teaspoon of honey, half teaspoon of curd. And now we're going to mix everything. This is how it is going to look. Thank you so much. It's time to take a short break and when we come back, you will learn how to make a tasty dish, can take part in a contest and enjoy some tips. Don't go away, we'll be back.